another masterpiece from Mashamba West. Cuprite embedded in a, this would be a little bit of copper, native copper, sitting around the outside of the cuprite and, and encrusting the total outside of the specimen would be some tiny malachite crystals. Now what I love about this, there's an underlying form to the cuprite formation. Have a look over there. It's almost a, the heart of cuprite sitting inside the specimen. Of course, Mashamba West mine in the Katanga is famous for the, the red cuprites. Now, with, with very strong lighting, you'll find that this quite bright silver metallic uh, uh, cuprite formation actually is this cherry to ruby red. I, for some reason, cannot see the red in these guys, but uh, that, this is one of the uh, uh, things that Mashamba West is so uh, famous for. Uh, sitting on top there would be most likely some native copper crystals. Of course, saturated by malachite on the outside, various forms of oxidation. Of course, uh, as copper oxidizes, it turns into malachite. From a display point of view, different kind of green over here almost. So quite interesting. And on, on first glance, I think we're looking at musonoi, but definitely from Mashamba West. So this is not radioactive material. Um, usually when I hold a radioactive mineral, I feel this tingling in my fingers and I feel nothing here. Um, this is now the other point of display. So if we have it lying flat like this, we'd have it going around like that. So I would prefer to either put it on a stand this way. This is actually very, very nicely formed, this particular section. Partially crystalline as well. And I think this may be... Um, I, I think these came out uh, around about 2019, if I'm not mistaken. I've only encountered them now because I'm sure that a lot of the faceters would have gone for the, of course, to facet this, this uh, uh, cuprite section. This, of course, wouldn't be a faceting grade, but uh, some do facet the solid uh, uh, cuprite. All the way from Mashamba West in the Katanga, another masterpiece.